Okay, okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so happy to join WorldCup Malaysia today. Thank you. So I'd like to share a story with you titled Empowering Careers and Community, my WorldCup Hopper journey. So uh, let's start with a few questions. So how many of you are attending your first time? Ah, wow, great! Ah, over 50 <laughs> percent. Ah, thank you. And the next one, how many of you have attended what camp outside of Malaysia? Wow, great. Around 10, over 10 people. Great. Thank you for your responses. And Today, I'd like to share stories that will make your world camp experience even more enjoyable. So let's dive in. Okay. <laughs> now let me introduce you to the concept of world camp hopper. What does it mean? This is the original term I came up with. <laughs> it means someone who excitedly attends world camps regardless of the location. Let's take a look at my world camp hopper journey so far. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Over the past six years, I've hopped across world camps in Japan, Singapore, Bangkok, Taiwan, Germany, Hong Kong, and now Malaysia. Yes. Uh, totally 15 world camps in just six years. And six years ago, I was a freelance website developer based in Hong Kong. So uh, I attended my first world camp in Tokyo from Hong Kong. I never thought I would attend so many world camps after that. Now, I'm a part of a Japanese company called Vector, the company focusing on WordPress themes and plugins. I work remotely from Hong Kong, focusing on marketing stuff. By the way, a lot of people already know, but uh, this is my first time in Malaysia. So I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me here today. So now I'd like to talk about my journey as a WordCamp Hopper over these six years. I also want to connect this journey to Maslow's hierarchy of needs. <laughs> <laughs> if you are a marketer, you might be familiar with Maslow's hierarchy of needs, but if not, don't worry. It's not necessary to know it to understand. Uh, in simple terms, this hierarchy explain, explains human needs in a simple chart. It's like a pyramid with different levels. This chart starts from the bottom layer. At the bottom are the basic needs, and uh, as we satisfy those, we want to fulfill the higher needs one by one. And the top level is about self-actualization needs, meaning you live your own way. So now, did I reach the top of this pyramid through my WorldCamp Hopper experience? So let's take a look from the first level. Then. Starting with physiological needs, uh, they, uh, these are the basic requirements for human survival, like food, water, clothing, <laughs> etc. So the first, yes, food. <laughs> Lunch, drinks, and snacks provi provided almost all world camps. You will not stop at world camp. This is from world camp Ogijima, Japan, 2018. It's so cute, lunchbox. It's <laughs> and World Camp Asia in Bangkok this year. It was delicious. Yes. How was your breakfast today? I hope you all enjoyed it. And sometimes we have sweets, like dorayaki, Japanese sweets, so cute. And yes. Don't forget the coffee station. I love free refill coffee. <laughs> you will not get thirsty at world camps, right? And many world camps also provide clothing. Yes, 
T-shirts. <laughs> yes. Did everyone get the T-shirts today? <laughs> Yay! I like these T-shirts. <laughs> yes. Are you happy with the World Camp T-shirts? But it brings you a headache after becoming a World Camp hopper. <laughs> From different world camps, I returned home with a bunch of t-shirts that my closet is occupied with countless world camp t-shirts like this. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we've covered the physiological <laughs> needs like food, water, clothing, etc. So let's move on to the next level. After physiological needs, uh, you will demand safety needs. It's about the desire for safety, financially and physically. As you go to different world camps, as a world camp hopper, your family might complain you. You are always away leaving your partner and the kids at home. This situation could create a family management crisis. It's not good. Very big safety issue, I think. OK, so don't worry. World Camp can solve this safety issue as well. So World Camp is a business conference where many WordPress-related companies, developers, designers, and users come together. This is the scene from the Bangkok this year. Uh, it was full of energy and people. It, World Camp is a business trip. Seriously, so please use good excuse to persuade your family and maintain your safety. Yes. And then, in addition, some world camps are also offer job boards, so you can find new job opportunities. So let's earn some money and be financially safe. Yes. yes. Moreover, some world camps organize kids camp where uh, children can participate, please be sure to check the information and join along with your family. Yes. This ensures your family management is secure. Good. Good. So with this, we fulfill the safety needs, right? OK, let's go to next level. After safety needs, you will demand social needs. Social needs involves, involves the need for friendship, belongings, social connections, community groups, acceptance, etc. These needs seem easily fulfilled through participating in world camps. At Contributor Day, you can connect with people who share your skills and interests. This is Bangkok Contributor Day also had many attendees from various regions. And, of course, world camps always have an after party. Yes, it's another great opportunity to expand your connections. By joining world camps in other countries, you can easily find or connect with key persons, such as community members, famous team or plugin developers, or creators and major players in WordPress industry. So actually, on the event day, it's not so much time. So it might be tough to connect with many people. So that's why when I attend World Camps, I try to volunteer, organize, or even speak whenever it's possible. So as a result, this has become my turning point making me build more connections. In 2018, I became an organizer for the first time at World Camp Ogijima, Japan. I managed on-site staff, so by working closely with almost all organizers and handling tasks together, I formed strong connections. These connections have resulted lasting and wonderful friendships. The following year, I had opportunity to organize a world camp in Hong Kong where I live. I immediately used the experience from the previous world camp. It was small scale, but it was amazing event and I could make new connections in Hong Kong. 
in this room, I can find some face <laughs> from Hong Kong also. Okay. I also participate as a member of a design team in World Camp Asia 2023. The team I worked with for three years has become really important friends to me. By joining World Camps as volunteers or organizers, I've gained so much. My knowledge, connections, and viewpoints have gained a lot. All right, let's move to the next level. After social needs, next demand is the esteem needs, which is desire for self-esteem, recognition from others, achieving success, and acknowledgement. I'm now speaking on the stage of World Camp. This is a good example of esteem needs. By being a World Camp speaker, you can gain recognition and acknowledgement from audience. And finally, it will enhance your self-esteem. When I started going to World Camp, I didn't have much experience speaking at events. So I took a small step and began by sharing at a local WordPress meetup in Hong Kong. I also spoke at WordCamp Tokyo. I di discussed creating a multilingual website using WordPress. Then the pandemic hit, but WordCamp Japan went online. Even from Hong Kong, I was able to talk about multilingual plugins for WordPress websites. And today, I'm sh sharing my experience with you all. Am I gaining your recognition or <laughs> and acknowledgement, right? Yes, thank you. And now, do you guys know these characters? <laughs> these are the WAPU of World Camp Asia this year. Do you know who designed these two characters? Yes, it's me. I designed. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I noticed the World Camp Asia was calling for WAPU, actually, and I designed and submitted this. And then both my WAPU won the nomination. So happy and lucky. Uh, those, uh, through this WAPU design, I gained recognition as a wa WAPU designer as well. Through my journey as a World Camp Hopper, my career also had some changes. Through volunteering, organizing, and speaking at World Camps, my network expanded. I started receiving job offers for various projects. I've worked on translation support, marketing, and more. I've recently joined a team where I contribute to long-term marketing support. The team is Japanese company Bechtro which is one of the sponsors for this WordCamp Malaysia. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so please feel free to come to our booth and have a chat. <laughs> so as a result, I was able to enhance both physiological needs and safety needs at the same time. <laughs> okay. Finally, we can find self-actualization needs. This is a desire to maximize your potential and pursue personal growth and achievement. It's a big goal, I think, so I'm still on this journey. So as a World Camp Hopper, you can experience personal and career, career growth. Today, I encourage you to explore World Camps near and far. Please consider volunteering, organizing, or speaking. They might lead you to unexpected places. So, well, that's my story. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, so, now it's your, I think that it's your turn. Make sure to enjoy today's Mad Camp Malaysia until the end. Lastly, let's take a look at upcoming World Camps in Asia. Taiwan, Tokyo, Tegao, Indonesia, and Manila are hosting World Camps this year. And next year, Nepal and the flagship World Camp Asia in Taipei. So, are you ready to be a World Camp hopper? So, see you in the next World Camp. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>